Just moments ago, Vice President Kamala Harris went after former President Trump for sharing a video that referenced creating a unified Reich in his second term. That post has since been deleted. She made those remarks while delivering a keynote address in Philadelphia before a major group of union workers who are helping get out the vote for November. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez is at the White House for us. What did the vice president have to say, Gabe? Well, this is the vice president's fourth visit to Pennsylvania so far this year, her 14th since taking office. But while she was addressing union workers there, as you mentioned, she slammed that social media post from the former president. Now, the Trump campaign has been saying that it was an accidental post, that it was a, a staffer that uh, shared it without looking at those words. But the vice president took the campaign to task. Take a listen. Just yesterday. The former president of the United States, who praises dictators, who said there were very fine people on both sides in Charlottesville. Let's not forget, took to social media and highlighted language from Nazi Germany. Highlighted language from Nazi Germany. This kind of rhetoric is unsurprising coming from the former president, and it is appalling, and we got to tell him who we are. Now, her comments come after we have been hearing from campaign officials and also officials here at the White House calling that type of language abhorrent, and this comes as the Biden campaign is really trying uh, to court voters in battleground uh, Pennsylvania, speaking in front of those union workers who have pledged a voter drive, some $200 million union-wide, and this is the SEIU, a union that just elected its first black president, Vice President Harris, there to try and Court those vo voters. And as you see, uh, that union represents roughly 2 million healthcare, public sector, and property service workers. It's a massive uh, union. And this comes as the Biden campaign really tries to focus on topics such as reproductive rights and also student loan debt two topics that the vice president had talked about in Philadelphia before. But as you just saw, now with that social media post yesterday, we have been hearing the Biden campaign trying to seize on that. And we expect the uh, President Biden himself, according to his press secretary, to address uh, that social media post more directly later today, Chris.